So tonight, I will be reviewing The Creature from the Black Lagoon. Now this movie came out in 1954 in black and white, and it also came out in 3D. So that was really cool back then. Unlike today, where every movie comes out in 3D. Back then, they tried to get some of the moviegoers into the theaters by offering them some cool effects. And even though, believe it or not, I wasn't around back then, I hear that the effects from that movie were really cool, how they did them. So, before I get going with this review, I just want to say I'm going to try something new this time, and I'm going to have a call-in show. This is a live call-in show. So, I'm going to put the number on the bottom of the screen here, so if you want to call in at any time during this review and have any questions for me or about the movie of Creature from the Black Lagoon, feel free to call me. So first of all, this is, of course, a classic. This is the classic universal monster movie. The creature is up there, of course, with Frankenstein and Dracula, Wolfman, Invisible Man, Mummy, all of those. The creature is up there with all the classics. However, I can say that the creature is probably one of the cooler of all of the old monsters. So the creature of the Black Lagoon stars Richard... Oh, hang on. Already got our first phone call. Dave Decay here. Hello? Yeah, I wanted to order a pizza. Uh, well, this really isn't a, uh... A pizza place, but, uh... Okay, good. I wanted to get a deep dish pizza with sausage and peppers and anchovies. But what, I, what I'm trying to say is, uh... And then I wanted to also get some breadsticks, and I wanted to get a salad and a two-liter soda. All right, you got it. Okay, thanks. So, as I was saying, Richard Carlson is one of the stars in this film, and he is Dr. David Reed. And of course, you also have the female lead, Julie Adams, and she plays the character of Kay Lawrence in this film. Now, if there's anyone out there who has yet to see Creature from the Black Lagoon, which I don't know how many there is, actually, who has not seen this movie, but for those who haven't seen it, I will give you a little bit of uh, the plot here. Basically, oh, wait a minute, we got a call coming in. Dave Decay Show. Yeah, yeah, that's Dave Decay. Yes, it is. Uh, Dave Decay. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller, and I, I'd like to know something about that little movie that you're in you, you're with there. Okay, hit me. Uh, uh, first of all, when they showed it, when they showed that movie, was it, was it in 3D? So I think it was in 3D originally, and I sure like 3D movies. Actually, yes. Yes, it was in 3D. I was just discussing it on my show. Uh, okay, that, 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 that's what I wanted to know, if it was in 3D. Was it, did they show it in 3D? Yes, yes they did. Yeah, I liked in 3D movies. Okay, well, there you go, Rod. No problem, man. Okay. Now, the plot of the creature from the Black Lagoon. So there's a few archaeologists, and they find this fossil of a hand coming out of a wall. How is it a wall, or why the hand was coming out of the wall? It doesn't matter. So they send out some of these guys on a boat, and of course they have to have a woman with them. Because, you know, a woman always has to go out on the lake in a creepy Black Lagoon full of a boat with a bunch of guys. Because, yeah, that always happens. Now, oh, all right, another phone call. S sorry about this. I didn't, I didn't realize I was going to get this many phone calls during the show. Dave Decay Show. Yeah, uh, hold on. I, I like your show, man. I've been listening for a while now. And, uh, oh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Did you just call? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, it isn't. No, I just, I just woke up. Well, go ahead. Go. What's your question? So, uh, uh, my question is, um, there was, I was sitting there watching that 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 movie, and I was just thinking about how, 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 how
that movie? Yes. And it, 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 here's the thing I wanted to ask you. I, I was just wondering why they ripped off Swamp Thing. Because that, that, that suit that the creature wears looks exactly like the bad guy in Swamp Thing. Why did they rip off Swamp Thing? Well, actually, Swamp Thing came out many years after the creature did, so it's actually the other way around, where Swamp Thing actually ripped off the creature. Oh. Well, I, I, thought, I thought Swamp Thing's been around for, I love Swamp Thing, and Swamp Thing's been around for so long, and I've watched that movie, like, all the time, and I noticed that they ripped off Swamp Thing's Oh, the creature from the Black Lagoon's suit is from Swamp Thing. Okay, yeah, exactly. They did. Swamp Thing stole stole the suit. You got me. Okay. Then... Alright, bye. So getting back to the movie now, one of the great things about this film is obviously the creature himself. He was so great in this film. The makeup effects in the full body suit is as good today as it was back then. But you can't just have a cool monster and not a cool story. And the story here is really cool. Even though it's more or less your classic Beauty and the Beast story where there's a fish guy who has the hots for a non-fish woman and he goes up on a boat and tries to steal her and take her away from the guys who want to keep her. And then you got the one bad guy who wants to kidnap the Gill Man and take him back and expose him to the world so he can become famous while this other guy all he wants to do is just get out of the swamp or lagoon or whatever it's called it doesn't matter so you know as well as I do this is a classic and it's the reason that this is a classic because when you watch it today it's as good as it was back in 1950s when they created it and that is a very meaning of classic so in all, I would have to give this film, of course, a 5 out of 5. Now all month long, Sven Gulli is going to be having the full franchise of the creature. Now I find this interesting because I've never seen the other two films. So until then, remember, find your favorite tombstone, curl up, and leave the coffin open for me. If you know what I mean.